Hello there, my name is Mark Barnabas, your Data Protection Pal, and today I'm going to talk about this article that I read on the Security Magazine. It talks about cyber criminals starting to target not just the C-level executives, but they are also targeting the lower hanging fruit, meaning staff in the managerial or even operational positions. Why is that so? Well, typically the C-level people are the very clever, very aware, very careful and have, uh, well, uh, serious staff looking after them or even serious tools looking after their devices. However, not all these good top class tools are trickled down the entire organization. And even if they are, it might just be very basic. And, you know, C-level suite don't really do their work. They just view, they read. But when managers and operating staff handle data, when they handle, when they do their work, they will inevitably open up emails, go to websites, and that's where these cyber criminals are going to attack these managers or operation staff. So is your organization safe enough or doing things to keep your managers and your operations team safe from these cyber criminals? So these are three questions for you to ask yourself and check in your organization if you are doing enough. So the first question I have for you is, does each device connected to the office Wi-Fi network have endpoint protection? The most basic, these device called a cell phone where, you know, staff can connect to the office Wi-Fi with their cell phones and while well, this being the personal property of the employee, they can install 10,001 things in there and all it takes is one malware, one spyware, or some attack to happen from a cell phone to the office network and we are going to have some uh, not so nice consequences if that ever happens. So is each device protected? Not just a cell phone but laptops and of course I know many people have office computers issued but when they, people use their private phones that's where it could be a disaster. Now, second, is there any policy at all on protection of data or even the use of company data? I mean, employees inevitably in their course of work would handle company data. What are you going to prevent the staff from pulling out a camera and take a picture of the data on the computer? Or worse, save it in the computer? You know, is there a code of practice even where employees are trained or to look out for themselves and to look out for fellow colleagues if they are doing the wrong things. And last but not least, are all employees of the organization being trained to protect the data, not just their own personal data, but the data of the organization? Because uh, it really takes staff, operation staff especially, on the ground who see things engage in things, know people and handle the work itself to be the ones to be the best stewards, I learned this word, best stewards of data for the organization. So are you giving staff enough training, not just for their own rights, their own personal data, but to protect your organization because your organization's data is worth a lot, isn't it? So do ask yourself these questions and if you're a manager, Ask your C-suite, have we been doing enough for data security and personal data protection? So my name is Mark Barnabas and I've also invented this first ever board game to educate the public and players about data protection and cyber hygiene and I'd love to share with you. It will be out very soon coming up in August 2021. And it's also a very powerful tool that can be used by practitioners and data protection officers. Finally, it's an ideal tool also for educating because it's created so simple that even the eight-year-old can play it as long as they have simple numeracy skills. So my name is Mark Barnabas, your data protection pal, and I look forward to seeing you or connecting with you on social media. And these are my social media cradles. Be good. 
be safe and please don't let the cyber criminals attack you.